Welcome back and today we are going to see what is the relationship between KC and KP. As all we know, KC is equilibrium constant and KP2 is equilibrium constant. However, now what is the relationship? As you know, C stands for concentration. Also, we know P stands for pressure. So, pressure is a term which is applicable only to gases. Concentration, concentration as we know that is applicable also to liquids. So, liquids and gases. So, number of moles per liter, it will give us concentration. And we have to establish now what is the relationship between Kc and Kp. So let this reaction be a reversible reaction in which A gas and B gas are reactants and C and D are the products. Small a is a concentration of A gas, small b is concentration of B gas and so with C and D. In that case, how do we write the equilibrium constant Kc. So Kc is product multiplication of product concentration. Product is C raised to concentration then product D raised to D small d that is the concentration. Now divided by same way the reactants so now this is for equilibrium constant in terms of concentration now what you will do what one will do if it is a gas so we'll express this in terms of pressure. So Kb is equal to Pc pressure. That is pressure of C, then pressure of D, then pressure of A and pressure of B. So that's what we have done. So we write Kp is equal to partial pressure of C raised to C then into partial pressure of D gas raised to D divided by partial pressure of gas A raised to A into partial pressure of gas B raised to B. So this is going to be the equation for Kp. So now we know the ideal gas equation. It says that Pb is equal to nRT, where n is the number of moles, R is gas constant, T temperature, V is volume, and P is partial pressure in this case. Now what we can do is write we have to bring the value in terms of P. P is equal to n upon v t. We are dividing this in order to have concentration term here. So that is equal to c. Number of moles divided by volume is equal to concentration into rt. So partial pressure of gas of a gas is equal to crt. Therefore 
partial pressure of gas A is equal to ART where A stands concentration of gas A. In the same way partial pressure of B gas B is BRT where B is concentration of gas B at equilibrium. So substituting these values substitute these values and doing some mathematical part here we try to bring it in terms of kc so here we get in this step you find we'll find this we are getting c raised to c d raised to d a raised to a b raised to b and then we substitute this value of kc here and additionally we have rt raised to this thing but we know that c plus d are the number of moles of products so we write products and we also know a plus b is also the number of moles of reactants as such we get delta n if you stop subtract the second from this we get the change of in the number of moles in the whole reaction so this is delta n and this delta n we are substituting here We therefore have established the relationship between Kp and Kc that is Kp is equal to Kc equilibrium constant in terms of concentration into Rt bracket raised to change in number of moles. This is the equation which we have derived and this will hold true in all cases as far as ideal gas is concerned and the reaction is reversible thank you